Okay, we're back. We just did the exterior walls um, on the first floor, and now we're going to do them on the on the second floor. But one question, I have someone watching these as I make them, so I'll pop in with little questions from him and then answer them as I can. Uh, one of the questions was, how do I know if the wall is in, um, faced correctly? So basically, you just have to have a little bit of knowledge about how walls are built. Um, and how the walls are set up. So you're going to have to get familiar with Revit, of course. Um, but one thing that you can do is that if you know that you have a stud wall, let me delete this, this little piece right here. If you know that you have a, a stud wall, that was your first wall going, going in, and then you had a gypsum layer on the interior, uh, the gypsum layer right here should be faced on the interior of the building. Um, the second way you can know is let's say you put in a gypsum wall, uh, I mean a stucco wall right here. So you'll know that you want the stucco on the outside. So each different uh, layer has a different pattern on it. So if we go to our 3D view, you can see that we have the stucco pattern on the outside. So that's, that's the way you can tell. So let's go to the upstairs and see where um, your exterior walls can get kind of tricky. So we go to the upper floor. Here we are. We're going to want to do the walls again. We have our white stucco. Um, we're going to start at the upper top of subfloor and then go to the uh, upper top of plate. There's your finished face. We're on the interior. Mm. Quick clicks. It's going to do, going to snap to the center. Okay, restart, create similar. And there we go. Now let's drag this section. Actually, let's look at this elevation. So let's grab all these walls right now. Just hit tab, grab them all. And actually, let's hit a line. This is a line these to the top of this floor box. So I'm just merely clicking on the top of the floor box, clicking up there. Uh, later, we'll add a parapet, and the stucco will go above there, and we'll be ready to go. So right here, you can see that the exterior wall goes down to the level that you want it. But we have an overhang on this side. Go to 3D view to go. No, we have an overview on the side. So how do we cover that one? Well, it's simple on this front side because you can simply al align the bottom of that to the main top of um, the main top of plate. So base constraint, main top of plate, easy peasy, ready to go. Now the other sides are going to be a little bit more difficult. There's multiple ways to do this, but an easy way to do this is that you go to an elevation click on it, you click on this level, and you hit Edit Profile. What that's going to allow you to do is change the shape of the wall. So basically, we're going to bring this down from there to the center. We're going to trim these pieces that we don't need, like so. Hit OK. And now you can see the stucco wraps all the way down. You do the same for this other side. Double click on the elevation, hit it in place, use your lines, hit exit, TR for trim. And you are set. So now that we have that, um, let's let's place in some windows. And if you watched the first intro video, um, the prequel, I think you know what I'm about to do here. Let's do fixed. Let's do a. Let's have some tall windows. 20, 24, 24 by 60. So we're gonna put some in the dining room and we'll align all these later. Just going to place them in quickly. 
I'm going to put some over in the kitchen so you'll have a nice view. And let's go to put a couple in here. Now, remember our problem that sometimes it clicks and it goes in the long wall. If you want it in the stud wall, you can click on what you already placed. CO for copy and move it to move it where you need it. Now, to align it correctly, uh, you want to use your dimensions, and I hit Tab multiple times to get uh, onto the right location. We're going to pull from the stud wall into there, and my computer's freaking out. There we go. That happens apparently. <laughs> We're going to click on the window. I'm going to have it be that would be eight feet, eight feet from the outside. I think my exterior monitor disconnected and my computer had to think about it for a second. So we're hitting AL for A-line and we're just aligning the windows up right there. We're going to do similar for these walls, for these windows. We're going to have it at 6 feet. We're going to switch the rotation of this window. And then we're going to align them so they're butting up next to each other. For now, these ones we're just going to align them and not care about their dimensions. So let's go to the upper floor and add some windows right here. There's the windows. It's on it's already on the one that I had before, so that's perfect. I put three up there. We're gonna center this. Remember how to center this. Should be pretty easy for you. Because all you're going to do is hit that little equals button. Don't need to save the project right now. I've been saving when I haven't been filming. Switch the windows facing the right way. And align them and we're good to go. Now if you don't remember, sometimes you forget, that's okay. When we go to a 3D view, nothing showed up. And that's because we have to join all the walls. So click on the wall, hit join, and you're ready to go. I'm going to do it with all the walls. Uh, you can do that right away when you put in your exterior wall, just so you have it. And every time you put in something in this stud wall, it will cut through your exterior wall. I'm going to do that. This one too. Join. There you go. Oh, it's not doing it. There we are. So another question we had was about the the hide the reveal hidden elements button. So. First, let me just show you. There you go. Your windows came in. We'll go to a 3D view. Go to the other one. I got to align that back wall up there. It goes all the way. But there is your structure so far. So, another. Let's go fix that wall before we forget. Right here. So we're back at the main floor plan. So there's a couple ways. Uh, let's say let's say this was a finished floor plan and you wanted to show it off. It's not right now, and it, it has a lot of work, but a lot of work that needs to be done. But let's say you wanted to show this to a client. And so you had a bunch of dimensions in here because you're making sure everything was all right. You did the spacing perfectly. Um, one thing you can hit is VG, which is View Graphics. And here's all your categories, and you can turn them off so that you don't see them in uh, on this level. 
So if you go to annotation categories, you'll have to take a while to look through all these, but you can find your dimensions and you can turn them off and now they're hidden. Now this button right here allows you to see what's hidden and what's not hidden. So another way that you can control this is that you can right click on it and instead of hitting VG, you can hit uh, um, hide in view, actually unhide in view, and then you can hit elements or categories. So if you hid them in um, the view graphics, you're going to have to unhide them as a category. And then, and then when you pop, when you toggle it off, it'll go away. Another way you can just unhide one thing, let's say you don't need this dimension, but you do need this because you're talking about um, why that's six feet away. You can go hide in view and you can just hide that one element rather than the whole category. So the whole category would be all of the dimensions. The element would be just the certain thing that you are picking on. If you want that one back, click on it, right click, unhide in view, and then there's your element. You can click on multiple elements to do the same thing. Um, another problem, if we look right here that we saw is why is our topography surface so high? And I think once we investigate what we can find from this elevation is that because this hill is drawing up all the topography all the way from that corner. So a way to make that not happen is you can go back to your site. We no longer need these red lines, so we can hover over it, hit tab, delete. Those red line goes away, but you still have your site. So let's click and let's edit this surface. So these points on this first layer are, are two feet up. So that's what's bringing um, all the way from this corner, it's bringing it two feet up. Now, we don't want that because this is a pretty level site. So we're going to create a sim similar, and then we're going to have it at the same level as our boundary. So now we're making some topography lines. There we go. Now you have a top topography line, and if we go back to our views, many of you an easy way to navigate is to click on there. And did you see how it popped the topography down? Now it's on the level that we want. Um, and actually, we actually want it at this foundation level. So what we can do is we can simply, another way to edit it, go to there we go just took a took a second to think let's go back it's not letting me grab it in that view let's let me grab it let's see if I can grab it in a section yep I did so the key in Revit um, whether you're trying to find something in a family or do something in model space is to just keep going deeper keep trying different options um, hopefully eventually you'll find it so you can click on the topography click MV for move and bring it down that 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 will change it um, that will change the whole your whole topography and give you all new num numbers to deal with um, so we got that set uh, let's talk about reveals so let's say stucco. Let's say we want some reveals in here. We want some stucco reveals. Um, it's as easy as going down to your wall and hitting reveal, reveals. There's also sweeps would be bump outs. We already have uh, one made for you in our templates. You might have to make your own, uh, but it's as simple as reveals are kind of kind of difficult because you have to place them and then you have to hit restart every time up there. It's just a little Revit. Revit kind of does it that way. I don't know why. Hopefully they'll fix it one of these years. Then you can move and align them. You can hit AL. Align them. And if we look at our views from this other side, we can see that they're in there. Okay, I'll catch you next video.